this is your message from the divine masculine if you are in a twin flame or soulmate love connection and before i picked these cards out um, i got this big intuitive hit that the divine masculine was like there's your first card there we go um was like yes and like that was the kind of message that we got so like there's been a shift about um how you've been thinking or seeing your union how your, your divine masculine is thinking or feeling about the union let's do a couple more cards to see if they come out um but basically like there's like this new kind of understanding about your process as a process rather than like an on and off switch I know that you know that it's not this way, but the brain sometimes thinks like, okay, it's either all or nothing. My twin flame is not with me at all, or they're proposing to me down on one knee, right? That's not practical and not how relationships work. Let's do another card. Oh, there we go. Let's do all of those. Okay, so we came out with this card on top, wanted to reveal itself to you right away material and spiritual prosperity. So you and your twin flame are both working on this. Look at these, this lovely symmetry in the card here. You've got the divine masculine looking out on these two fountains. Think of that as your union, right? Like you're like two wings of a bird. And as you continue to grow in your life purpose, um, really claiming that for yourself, your twin flame is doing that too. So there's something here about that that's at the core of why there's this like yes and kind of thing coming out. Like I'm making progress and there's still stuff I'm working on. And so let's let's keep coming out with your cards. So you've got firm foundation. Okay, both of these cards are in the red category for the psychic tarot for the heart. That represents vitality, passion, strength, hard work, um, just your root chakra, right? Like this is all root chakra here. And that's something that's really important. A lot of you out there kind of like, you know, screw the foundations. I just want to get to harmonious twin flame union. I just want to, you know, bring my twin flame home and have a happily ever after. Well, you'll get that, but it's not going to last unless you build a firm foundation so that this is what your twin flame is doing. And they're kind of like, I get the idea that like you feel like they're slowing you down because they're not moving fast enough for you. Um, or what you think you need. So I want you to consider letting that go. Like what you think you need uh, may not actually be what you actually need, right? Like you have a dream in your heart. Maybe maybe let's look at a different part of your life because we are talking about material and spiritual prosperity. So this is what your whole union, you and your twin flame, your partner are looking at. And uh, you you want to be a rock star. And so you try to sign up for gigs for like, I don't know, like LA, these giant clubs, right? But you nobody knows who you are. You haven't got much experience. You haven't um, worked the field, so to speak. You haven't done it for very long and you keep getting the door slammed in your face. And that's kind of like what you're trying to do with your soulmate twin flame person, right? You're trying to um, skip over the relationship building aspect. And yeah, there's just this energy that you have. Whoever I'm, Whoever's watching this video, you've got this like unwillingness to just hunker down and do the work. And I think I know why. I'm going to pull another card to see if my hunch is correct. So, oh, yes, of course. You're impatient. You're an impatient mofo. <laughs> I understand. You know, it, it doesn't feel good to be without your twin flame. I get it, right? You're, you're, um, you know that spiritually you're one, right? But you're in, if you're watching this video, you're experiencing some form of separation, whether that's they're not talking to you at all or you're in a relationship with him, but there's like some distance. There's like this hump that you can't get over. And because that's painful for you, you're trying to push through it rather than take each step as they come. And you need to build a firm foundation. So your divine masculine is like, you know, whoa there, Nelly. You know, like, slow down. So, oh. and, and saying they're not going anywhere. That's the big message coming in. Like, yes, you're making progress and they're not going anywhere and there's more progress to do. I will tell you this. Until you start to fall in love 
with the process of healing, you're always going to feel impatient. You're always going to feel that kind of nudge there. And we've got emotional withdrawal. So your divine masculine, because they're sensing your impatience, they're like, okay, all right, I, I, you know, pulled the reins a little bit, but now I'm going to like, because you're kind of pushing, they're, they're going to withdraw. And that's not to be mean to you. That's because they need to protect and preserve their energy um, because they know, like you, you can, no matter what they're doing in the external they are a divine being just like you are and they're not stupid, right? Like you are a divine being, they're your counterpart. How could your counterpart not be as wise as you, right? So they're just kind of communicating, this is what you need to do too. Um, and it's not a withdrawal and shutdown. Please don't confuse this with numbing out. This is about you going within and being with your divinity. All right, let's keep going. I think I need to pull these up so we have room for the other cards. A lot of them came out. So I think you're... Divine Masculine has like a big message for you. We've got temptation. I feel like the rest need to come out. Heartache and loss. What's this one? Fulfillment of wishes. Good. Transformation. You've got some good stuff coming to you. And then new beginnings. Okay. So the new beginning, that's this, this row down here. So your Divine Masculine is like communicating to you to like back off just a bit about trying to push that does not mean stop loving them. I want to make that clear. A lot of you are really confused about that. You're like, oh, okay, I'll back off. Fuck. Um, oh, I can't say that on YouTube. F you, twin flame. I'll back off. I'll show you. You know, that's that's not the energy of unconditional love, right? That's the energy of just more impatience and punishment. So don't. That's not how. That's not what we mean here. What's happening is like you're you're tempted by ego, illusion, fear to like think that them doing this is like meaning they don't like you. And that's not true. Don't feed into that fear. Don't feed into that temptation. They're they love you and they are your partner and they, they see you as like a high uh, high vibrational being, like um, an earth angel. They see you that way and they're like, there ain't no way. I am ready to be with you, right? Like they, they don't feel that. Maybe you don't feel that either. So they just need some time to kind of build that foundation within their hearts. And so do you, right? Look at them, take their lead, look at what they're doing and know that they're not doing it to be um, mean. So let go of that temptation to think, to use this as an opportunity to fear them. You need to feel your feelings. There's no heartache and loss don't worry don't don't be superstitious about these cards right like don't look at this card and be like oh i'm gonna experience something bad no no that that's not what this means this means if you're doing your inner work like what i teach in my twin flame clients um sessions the mirror exercise going within feeling your feelings instead of going out there and trying to like plug away at whatever it is you need to go within first and feel those feelings of Whatever it is, if you're afraid, feel that, then love yourself there. If you're angry, if you're upset, if you're mad, feel that, but don't forget to love yourself there. That's key. You don't just feel it and then sit in the in the mud, right? You feel and then heal. Heal by telling yourself that you are worthy of love, that you do deserve your harmonious twin flame union, that um, your your union is yours. Like you, you deserve to be with your twin flame and you deserve to love yourself in every single layer, right? Like if you have a table and it's full of crumbs and your server comes up and wipes only half the table down, that's not loving. That's what you're doing. Some of you with your inner work, you're kind of like wiping a couple crumbs off the table, but the table is still messy with like, you know, somebody's jam from the, the customer that came before, right? You need to do a thorough job of loving yourself and polishing the mirror of your heart so that you can be with your twin flame. And that will bring the fulfillment of your wishes, all of them. And that's your transformation. So do you see how your your new beginning here is you letting go of these temptations, feeling your feelings, loving yourself and transforming? Very clear, very clear stuff. This is challenging though some, sometimes for some of you because... Um, these sort of temptations can be very magnetic. They can have, they have a gravitas about them. They're, um, they can be very, you know, relentless. And that is where you need support. 
So for this month, if you want to try coaching with me, um, you can set up a time for a free call, a free 15-minute consultation. Um, you can apply for that on my website. If you go to twinflamesheartsdesire.com, you'll find all my readings. I've got a channeled Valentine from your twin flame, um, only available until Valentine's Day. Um, but other stuff as well, twin flame coaching, meditations, downloadable courses. I've got lots of juicy things for you. So don't forget to head over to my website after this reading and check those things out so that you can claim your support so that you can move through all of these challenges with grace and with ease. You don't have to do this alone. The reason I'm on this channel is because I know and understand the twin flame journey and I know and understand how important it is for you to have guidance and support. I didn't make it into union without guidance and support. Josh and I have been living together now for over a year and it's been going super well and we've been going deeper and deeper. So I'll have more juicy content coming your way soon. Lots of love. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.